Good evening, good evening everybody. Welcome to our Martin Toastmasters. My name is Greg Keeper and I'll be your Toastmaster for this evening's meeting. As our members and our regular guests know, Toastmasters is an international organisation that was founded early last century in the, in the United States. And since that time it has grown considerably to the extent that today it is it is encompasses basically over 100 countries in the world and there's over 100,000 active participants. Well, first and foremost, Toastmasters is a public speaking club. Members and participants have the, have the um, ability to learn a wide range of skills other than public speaking, from leadership to, uh, to team building to critical thinking. It's just a name of few. But it's not easy. It's not easy. For participants to succeed, there has to be a lot of dedication and commitment and just personal drive. So I applaud each of you that, are, that is here today for taking the time, taking your valuable time and making this own, your own personal commitment into your, into your own personal development. And for those of you who haven't yet joined up to the club, I um, encourage you to take the next step and to become a participant and then to gain the full benefit that, um, that Toastmasters, that our club will, will offer you. Just a couple of tips that I want to give um, and some, some, some rules of the meeting, I guess, uh, before we start into the, into the proper meeting. Um, first of all, I'd like you to if everybody could please, um, if they have their mobile phones, if they can just put them on silent, just to um, show courtesy to um, speakers and the, the general meeting. If um, also, um, similarly, if people can refrain from talking to their neighbours, even if it's whispering just during the meeting, if you need to talk or do something like that, you can leave the room or just wait till there's a little gap in proceedings. Again, a, a courtesy. Also, uh, there's a Toastmaster rule, um, which is kind of um, Toastmaster tradition, I guess, and that is when you give your, if you come up as a speaker, um, the tradition is they need to uh, shake the hand of the person behind the podium, so in this case it will be me, but there will be other people here as well that will be uh, taking charge of various parts of the meeting. And then when you finish your speech, you should also shake hands with the, um, the, the person that's here. Um, the only other tip I'll give you, and I think it's the most important tip, is that um, has just if you everyone everyone's nervous, most people are, various degrees. So uh, when you come up, just just try and have fun. First of all, I encourage you to participate, and then if you have the courage to do that, just try and uh, relax and just have fun. And then because um, we're we're all here in the same boat, um, we're all here to learn. No one's judging you, well there is some evaluators, but they won't judge you too harshly. So, um, yeah, just try and have fun as hard as that is. Okay, so before we get to the formalities of the meeting, I'd like to, um, first of all, we, we'll have some introductions. But... That's okay. First of all, I'd like to just introduce our, our leadership team. Um, if, if they can please start with Tom, who's um, been kind enough to join us on his trip back for a week from the States. Um, and yeah, Tom, you can just introduce yourself, your role, and then just quickly and then we'll go to the next person. Uh, my name is Tom Markowski. I work with Global Education. My role tonight is to be the general evaluator. That's to work with our evaluation team to evaluate the needs of the evening, the speeches, as well as the different roles coming in our country. I'd like to have the team introduce them. So Olga, Kim tonight is our all captured. Can you introduce yourself and your role? Good evening, everyone. I am the counter. I will count uh, all necessary uh, words which, which you will pronounce. So be careful with your speech. Thank you. And this evening, our grammarian is Rory Yates. Can you introduce yourself and the word of the day as well? Um, Good evening, everyone. Um, I do apologise for my lateness, <laughs> and this tardiness was certainly not exemplary. Um, in fact, the word of the day is an adjective, exemplary, 
which um, I took an interest in because being a teacher of languages, I teach French and Spanish. Um, I must admit, confess, that my uh, English grammar, my knowledge of English grammar, is not exemplary. Um, it means something that is a model to follow. And the root of the word, as you can see, is example or ejemplo in Spanish. Uh, it is no longer in French. So it has a common root for Indo-European Indo languages um, and should be easy to follow. So, um, But fortunately, um, we have Mr. Bartoski here this evening, and his, he is an exemplary. <laughs> so, there we are. And our time this evening is your can you introduce yourself and your role.
any agenda topics because I'm really interested in hearing what all of you have to say. <laughs> Hi, my name is Angelo, I'm here for, for the second year. Uh, I would like to listen to you and I'm glad to see you all here. Hello, my name is Mola. I would like to participate. <laughs> um, hello, my name is Donal. Um, I'm first time here, so uh, I didn't decide to do my work. Um, as you may know, uh, I, I was interviewing witnesses. 
eyewitnesses of journalism events, and I was uh, uploading my videos on internet, on social media, uh, and my uh, videos were uh, cited in New York Times, Reuters, and other international media organizations, um, which was exciting, and that's how I got noticed by also an international media organization called Radio Free Europe Radio Liberty to join their team as a social media editor, which is, I, which, as I mentioned, is a newly created position in the 21st century. And um, do you know what is social media editor? Social media editor? Do you have any idea? Social sites? Facebook, Twitter, encourage our team, uh, our staff to use new media, to use social media to be supporting. Uh, since internet has become a great power uh, in our lives, uh, I think you agree with that. Uh, and since you might have heard you might have heard of uh, events in Egypt, Tunisia, where uh, the, the the change, the uh, demographic change was made after Facebook, Twitter, like Facebook revolution, Twitter revolution, and then uh, uh, social media and internet has become uh, a change agent to bring about change. Um, and since then, the United Nations has declared um, access to internet as a basic a fundamental human right, uh, which might make sense and does make sense at the same time because um, there are two thirds of people in the world still don't have access to clean water, to basic sanitation, but but, but they should have access to internet. Uh, and I think that tells that tells us how important internet, since we can connect with um, this whole world, we can connect with our um, with our loved ones, um, maybe who are not with us, and I think that it, it, it is the right decision to make internet access to, uh, to make access to internet a basic human right, um, since internet is a great platform to express ourselves. On television or on newspaper, people might not have a chance to express. Them. Um, their opinion, to uh, communicate their ideas. And on the internet, everyone can create blogs, everyone can post updates on social media, and that's how they can um, express themselves. And, and it's wonderful. Thank you. That's a very um, interesting account, Lena, of a um, personal account of how role that social media plays in our, in our lives today has changed so much and we look forward to um, hearing you know, more about that in many future speeches. Okay, our second speaker tonight, our second speaker tonight is going to be evaluated by, sorry, I'll be evaluated by Beg Zoy. Beg Zoy, can you please um, give an outline of what uh, you're going to be expecting from that? Yeah. The second speaker is Talgat Kainal and he First speech. The first speech, according to our uh, club, is ice-breaking speech. But all he has to do is to deliver his, his speech in such a way so we understand him, we will get to know him as much as possible. And there should be, of course, introduction, but in, in logical language. That's it. Okay, thank you, Targa. Okay. From my notes here, actually, while well, Targa comes to the stage, Targa is um, a new member of the club, so I don't know a lot about you, but it says here that you are interested in football, ballroom, dancing, cooking, and girls. So, <laughs> very interesting, but um, anyway. <laughs>
three simple stories. And my first story is about my school days, my crazy school days actually. No, I was the least talented uh, and the craziest boy among my classmates. Mm, no, my I was always ready to fight. I was all, always ready to break rules every time. You know, I was I was really crazy, and uh, you know. Uh, even my hopeless teacher, uh, yeah, who said once, yeah, you are permitted uh, not to come to classes. Yeah. <laughs> I say okay. <laughs> yeah. So once I remember the uh, moment when, yeah, it was really boring for me to study at school, and uh, once I thought, um, um, something came to my mind. What if I make a call to my school and uh, say that there is a bomb at the school? Yeah, <laughs> it was really crazy. And I did that, and you know, the school was really, uh, there was a big, I would say, um, yeah, mess, very big mess, and everybody went out, you know, but I was standing uh, here and I was watching and I was laughing, I guess. Was, I was really crazy, but you know, uh, that craziness uh, did last forever. Once my mother came and uh, asked me, hey, son, um, who do you want to become? <laughs> and I said, I want to be president, yeah. <laughs> but you know, uh, the next question was different. She says, uh, seriously, like, well, what are you doing for it? Yeah, it was really a mm, very crucial question for me. It touched me, really. And after that, uh, I think, you know, I think that it was the reason why I stopped being crazy and started, started studying. And I enrolled to one of the best schools in my own town, and I was the best, actually. And uh, uh, I would like to thank my mom, yeah, that I didn't become a terrorist. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was really good. So my second story is about my university life. So no, that life, the, the university life was really boring, but it was uh, full of predictions. Yeah, what does it mean? <laughs> you know, uh, I studied electronic engineering in my university, and uh, I studied for four years. It was it was like you know, studying and studying and stuff. And uh, the, in, the most interesting thing, uh, after graduating from the university, I did become an engineer. I became an accountant. Yeah, it was a very funny situation. So, okay, I, I, don't, I don't take your time, okay? <laughs> the third story is, um, is actually you know, the life that is right now, at the moment. Uh, after working as an accountant, after working as a waiter, after working as a, no, I can remember, I worked as everyone but not engineer, yeah. I came to conclusion that uh, I'm a teacher in, in, in the deep. And uh, I don't know what is happening right now. Life is taking me somewhere, I don't know. I don't, I don't know why I want to become. But I know one thing, um, in the deep of my heart, I am a good teacher. And uh, I think, <laughs> I think I will be a great teacher once. So, thank you. So, I got after what seems what quite a mischievous, mischievous childhood that you had, I'm, I'm glad that you now on the, the straight and narrow path towards becoming an um, exemplary citizen of the society. And I, hope that, and I hope that Toastmasters, through Toastmasters, you can continue that development to be you know, um, in that respect. I'll try my best. Okay, our third speaker for this evening. Before I give introductions, I'd like to ask our third evaluator, which is Yadika, to please um, stand up and give her um, guidelines. But Mm, our speaker, uh, third speaker today is W. Mukana, and uh, he's presenting uh, project number three, which is uh, titled Get to the Point. So, 
Mongolia that are going to see uh, the general purpose of your speech and uh, try to find out the specific purpose of your speech. But please don't forget about the structure as well. And I wish you um, uh, enjoy delivering your speech to us. Thank you. As you know, I said, the Dalit is a very um, old member of the Toastmaster team and he's given many speeches. And um, unfortunately, he hasn't, he's not here all the time because he spends a lot of time on the Caspian Sea where he works and shift work back and forth. So it's um, great to see him back again here today. And um, yeah, we wish you a lot of Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Just have one question. How many times you realize that you are not reaching your potential, that uh, life is very cruel to you, that it's, you feel yourself down? I myself had this problem for many, many years. Uh, I, I thought that uh, I was not going to succeed, that I hit the dead end. Uh, I would like to give you two examples um, from my life. Uh, first. When I started learning English, I was like eight years old, and I uh, like studied it for two years. I thought that I'm okay, but then for like seven years, I like, ceased to do that, and I automatically thought that I'm good at it because I learned like to study it very uh, when I was very young, and it was a long time ago, and. Uh, in the middle school and in high school, our program wasn't really good for that. So I, mean, but in the university when I studied the first uh, first year, I met uh, one American guy and I talked to him and I realized that I could barely understand him. I, I was really shocked. I was pissed at myself that I am not good at it. I I can't even understand him. And I started like attending all this courses, English clubs, yeah, and uh, there they told me that you're never going to succeed because you're like, you, you don't have, you just basically don't have the experience and you don't have the stamina to work and uh, only in two years I started to re realize that I, like, I've improved, um, but I forgot the word perfect and I forgot that it's, uh, it's not going to happen to me. Because you have to work all your life in order to achieve this. My second uh, example is from my driving. I've never driven before, like three years, uh, like three years ago, and I thought it would be an easy journey because I like saw many people driving. Um, but after, like in the first month, I had like three car crashes, and I like lost all my money, all my savings and <laughs> I even been at court once because I uh, met some really uh, bad things but in, in one year I started to like driving all my all the day like for three day for three hours a day I I was I'd been driving 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 and then only there I realized that uh, oh, yeah I've improved a bit and uh, again, it's, it wasn't very easy for me, it was very hard and I, I realized that I'm not uh, really good. Actually, I have to work really hard to, to achieve a, every, anything I mean, and uh, to spend all, all my time I need and, uh, in order to make progress. Because I, I understand that many people, uh, they don't have... Uh, they, they really that they are automatically the best that they, they don't take the life seriously and uh, I was one of them and I still have sometimes have these problems with me that I either over or underestimate myself and I cannot take myself like, adequately but uh, I realized again that my way my way to success is a journey not a destination and I would like to end my speech with one uh, legend from the uh, ancient Greece. When one traveler approached the old man and he asked him how to, to get to Mount Olympus. And he answered to him, just make sure that every step 
you take is headed in that direction. I would love to I wish you to that every step you take will be headed in that direction. trying and trying and um, until they get what they want. And I think that's a reflection of everybody who attends Toastmasters the top of the people that we are. Um, and that's why we keep hearing the similar stories. And, and Dolet, your story was a similar story, but um, I enjoyed your um, personal, your personal account of it. It was, uh, it was a nice speech. Thank you. Okay, um, the next part of our meeting is the um, evaluations of the three speakers that we just, um, we just heard. The first evaluation is of uh, Dina's speech. And I'll pass Gilias to please come to the podium. Yes, I want to remind you that her speech was the uh, second speech. The main focus of the speech is organizing your speech. Uh, I pay attention to introduction, body, and conclusion. And I told it was very good. And very in, informative speech about you and about, your, uh, about yourself. Uh, now I understood about your job and what, what are you doing. <laughs> <laughs> On Facebook every time posting something. <laughs> yes, and the beginning was very interesting. You grab attention, you ask a question. It's like one of the tips if you want to grab attention, ask people. They start to think about the answer and it's very good. And you made it uh, two times. You have a very good introduction, you told about your past, and then you smoothly go to the uh, body. It was so smooth that I even like, noticed it. And it was great, because uh, you, uh, good speech when nobody knows that you are prepared, you know? And this was very smooth, and like a river. <laughs> and the second part, body. Body was very informative, you told about your past, how you become like social social networking junkie <laughs> social media media sorry and it was very interesting uh, but it was very informative you told about like uh, how you become like popular in some <laughs> circles you know <laughs> yeah and uh, then you concluded with uh, some quotes some few sentences about the internet and internet is good, it's great and I also like it. I thought the whole speech was great. And now to the negative part of my, of my evaluation. Uh, what I want to recommend you. If I was you, I would uh, make more like uh, stronger conclusion. Yes, because conclusion was a uh, little bit, you know, you, you, you saw the green card and you thought, oh, I should conclude my speech. I think you should tell something more about the internet, about your own point of view, because conclusion is very, very important. Maybe you can fail, like introduction, you can fail body, but if you have a like, very, very great conclusion, it will be great, you know, just next time, <clears throat> I hope you will do great. And I also want to suggest suggest you uh, maybe don't make it's yellow. I, I have I, I have time. It's not yet red. And next time I want to recommend you maybe make some little pauses before like end before conclusion and little bit separate the introduction and body that everyone mentioned. And I told this very great speech, you will make a great, a great progress. I hope I will uh, help you uh, third speech soon. Thank you. Our next speaker this evening will evaluate the set speech of Targa. Would everyone please um, welcome Peg Slug Happy Morning? Thank you, Greg. Thank you, Targa. I believe that you could manage to deliver your speech in an interesting way. And especially the opening was exciting. Usually many great speakers 
uh, start their speeches in an unusual way, by falling down, by asking some sort of questions, or doing unexpected gestures. And you could do it, just ask me, judge me. It was something, wow. Everybody was surprised, and I strongly believe that everybody was surprised by this. And you could draw the attention of the audience. This is very important. Uh, the content of your speech was really interesting because you touched real life uh, situation. I believe that everybody who is sitting here used to have such kind of, let's say, uh, rebel at school. So, cool. yes. And uh, I think every school, every class, there is no exception. And you remind my friend who didn't like to study. So, this was really interesting because it touched me somehow. When it touched the people who are sitting here, it becomes very interesting, very impressive, and very influential. This is very important. Then the second part was your university life, which is also very interesting. You changed it. You, you started electronic engineering, but as a result, you are not working on your uh, according to your education. This is a very common situation in our country, I guess. Not only in our country, in Central Asian countries, I believe. So this is also somehow touched us because I graduated World Language University, but I haven't worked as an English teacher for six years. I used to be finance manager, I used to be working in sales, I used to work in marketing and many other things, but not teaching. I thought that it's not for me, it's not serious. But as you see now, I'm an English teacher and I'm very happy that I've come back, or I have found my best. It's very important. And uh, the, the conclusion was also very interesting and very impressive because you managed to finish it in a positive way, which is I hope. Everybody hopes. Hope died the last one, like we had <laughs> so this, is, this is very important. And uh, yes, when we want something, first we hope, then we believe, and we try to do it. It's very important. And you said, I hope that deep inside, I will become, or I'm in English, a good English teacher. Belief is the first thing. The rest is not so important. I hope you can manage it. So, regarding facial expressions, gestures, and so on. So, sense of humor. This was a key point in your speech because you could use it in an effective way. Gestures was okay, but still we can improve working on it. And when you are standing on the stage, try not to be static. Don't stay in one place. Try to use the whole space which is given to you. This vector, you can go there, left side or right side, which is very useful. And uh, eye contact is also very important. Try to use it. Uh, and watch as much as possible uh, speakers' uh, speeches on YouTube. Thank you very much. For your <laughs> Thank you, Vixo. Our last evaluator for this evening will critique the speech of Doliette. Please um, welcome Yetika. <laughs>
because uh, both uh, your stories also um, were close to everyone here because we all struggle in uh, learning and um, trying to make our English perfect. We are, we all are on different levels, but um, still uh, we can, you know, understand each other quite well here. So uh, that was really great, and uh, your second story was really close to me uh, as a, I'm also a driver, and uh, driving is another, um, I suppose, uh, good experience, especially now, but <laughs> where you can meet a lot of um, uh, bad driving uh, behavior on the roads. And uh, as I was uh, evaluating project number three, uh, I suppose your uh, general purpose was, uh, first of all, to inspire people here, yes, to um, keep on uh, working on something in order to reach uh, and to see your progress. That uh, purpose was reached in your speech and uh, it was uh, real clear to me and I hope to all of you too that um, WLED today tried to inspire us to continue our hard work. And uh, the specific purpose was uh, uh, that you, um, the spe specific purpose means that uh, a speaker tries to um, make you do something or tries to make you think about something. So um, you sounded really sincere and uh, really convincing. And uh, your en the ending of your speech was really great because um, it shows that you uh, really um, tried to, you really devoted some of your time uh, finding out that quote from ancient Greece, I suppose, yes. So, uh, thank you for your speech. Thank you, Yenka, and our three evaluators. Now I have the pleasure in inviting our esteemed and exemplary President Tom Bartoski to the podium to give a general evaluation of the three evaluators. Well, I hope I'm exemplary. Let me see. Well, first of all, I'd just like to say that in Toastmasters, our goal or focus of evaluation of the speeches is to inspire the speakers to improve still more. To point out the positive things that they do well, and then pick up just a couple of things that they can do better. And so tonight I, I thought that our evaluators did an exemplary job in that, but that they also talked about how the speech is connected with them. I heard personal pronouns. I was attracted by this, or it really touched me. In Toastmasters, we do evaluations. That's what we want to see happen. Is the evaluator should be talking about how the speech affects them, not speaking for you, the audience. And I thought that was done very well. The other thing I noticed our evaluators did tonight that was done well is they clearly paid attention to the speech because people made references to points throughout the speech. There was no vague generalities. Like, Your speech was great. You used uh, maybe some gestures. You were really clear. You know, this, but the feedback was very specific, which is something that we always want to see and find very, very helpful um, as we go through it. Uh, another good thing our evaluators did, uh, now I ask the speakers if this is true. Did you as speakers feel like the evaluators were speaking to you or to everybody? Uh, <laughs> did you notice? Did you feel like the evaluator was speaking to you or to the... That's okay. <laughs> but when we do evaluation at Toastmasters, there's, and I thought people did a pretty good job, but the, the, the desire is that the speaker feels like they're talking directly to you and the audience gets to listen to it. Because um, there's just a couple of points where I saw that sometimes the, one of the evaluators kind of went a little bit about talking more, pre presenting something to you as the audience. That's not the goal of, of the evaluator. So the evaluator's goal is to comment on the speech, what was good, what touched them, and what worked on it. And that's what we want to do. But overall, you guys did a great job. Appreciate your efforts, and I'll turn it back over to you. Okay, now uh, before we get into the tabletop section of the meeting, we'd like to just have a, a little break where we um, do the voting. So, I'm not sure who has the voting slips up here. Okay, okay. so we'd like to um, offer a piece of paper to everybody, and you can please. Um, 
Yeah, choose the best speaker. That is good. Okay. Yeah, okay. So just put in there, if you have a pen, please, the best speaker, in your opinion. And if you have any other comments that you'd like to make about any of the speakers, please feel free to jump that down as well, because that would be very helpful. Um, Autumn is biographies, so I'd like to talk about the inventor 
as a star one day. Would you like to have a movie telling your story? And what actor would you like <laughs> to cast? And would it be somebody special, maybe I know, or maybe you would like to cast yourself? I would like to hear Alihan. <laughs> Of my wealth. <laughs> <laughs> 
previous question. <laughs> uh, I want to say that if you, whether you, um, if you, uh, you don't have to be rich to help people. Uh, you can um, volunteer your time to uh, to help, uh, for example, NGOs that work with uh, children's rights or women's rights or for democracy. And at least that's what I did when I was in college. As a college student, I would I would volunteer uh, two hours a week to uh, to help other people. So you don't have to be to help me. Okay. Um, and uh, as for willing, I think if I was rich, um, I wouldn't think rich and famous. Rich and famous.
are 5 minutes 34 seconds out of 7 minutes. Uh, Talgat, um, 4 minutes 31 seconds out of 5 minutes. Excellent. Daulet, uh, 4 minutes 25 seconds out of 7 minutes. And our evaluators, uh, Ilyas, 3 minutes uh, 11 seconds out of 3 minutes. Vigzot, 3 minutes 14 seconds out of 3 minutes. Yadikar, 3 minutes 44 seconds out of 3 minutes. Okay. Evaluation is a tough job, so. <laughs> Uh, Tom, exemplary general evaluator, two minutes, three seconds out of six minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody can beat that record. <laughs> um, a quick one over the table uh, topic speakers. So Andre, one minute, nine seconds out of two minutes. So everybody had two minutes. Uh, Katya, 32 seconds. Uh, Ayhan, 33 seconds. Jean Siric, 39 seconds. Ilyas, 1 minute, 36 seconds out of 2 minutes. Siric, uh, 1 minute, 27 seconds out of 2 minutes. So almost perfectly on time, you guys. Nazim, 1 minute, 5 seconds out of 2 minutes. Alibi, 45 seconds. Dina, uh, 1 minute, 22 seconds out of 2 minutes. Daulet, 42 seconds. Terry, 1 minute, 14 seconds out of 2 minutes. Our ad counter, Olga, 30 se 37 seconds out of 2 minutes. Our grammarian, Rhoda, 3 minutes 44 seconds out of 6 minutes. So, you're perfectly <laughs> on time as well. And um, as usual, over time, um, 2 minutes 19 seconds out of 2 minutes. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, Toastmasters means cannot run without people stepping up and taking roles, and so people have done a good job signing up and being a part of it. And it was good to see that almost all the roles were filled except for um, Timer today, one small change. Um, the other thing about Toastmasters, the overall meeting, um, is we want to keep things going on time. And as Alia shared, most of the speeches were right under time. Evaluators were a little bit over. Now, speakers have the opportunity to prepare. It's a prepared speech, so you can practice. You can't really practice your evaluation. So what we need to do as practice evaluators is being short and succinct. And then if we do that and be clear and concise, we'll be exemplary evaluators and um, keeping on time. The other thing I thought was good tonight is Toastmasters has to have a structure. Because around the world, all the meetings are the same. And the structure helps things pop well. It's been field tested, time tested, it works well. But also you want to have some levity, some humor, and laughing. And I feel like tonight there's a fairly good balance of that overall, which is good. So table topic speakers, I'll have share, a lot of you were under one minute. Um, you want to try, one of, the, one of the purposes for table topic speeches is for you to learn to think and speak on your feet. The goal is to reach one minute. You should stay up here and try and say something, even if you're not sure what to say, until you reach the green limit. Whenever you have an opportunity to speak, you want to be on time, not under time, and you don't want to be over, never be over time but you want to at least reach the minimum as well. So if you see the red, light your thoughts rather quickly. Um, <laughs> are you showing that or just an example? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, but I really enjoyed the speeches as people shared, again, as well. So it's nice about being open by yourself and others and the speakers did that, the evaluators talked about it, and so overall, a good job. We started a little bit late, and I think we're going to end pretty much on time, so we did a great job. Okay, just a few notes in closing. Um, one, I'm interested at the start that there's um, an electronic sign up that's going around. So if you haven't had a chance to put your details in, please um, see Milana, I think it is, that has the, um, the iPad to put in your details. That would help us out a great deal. Um, also, I just like, in reflection on the meeting, I'd like to say that, um, some of my personal thoughts, I guess, um, I thought the meeting was, um, again, a, a nice meeting that we had, very interesting and um, very unique. I think every meeting that we have is different. Um, 
personally, I don't come to the meeting to to um, to only to see um, great um, speeches um, that are going to motivate me or inspire me. Maybe maybe you'll get that in coming here, but maybe you don't. Um, if, if, I, if I wanted that, then I'll just you know book myself you know, to see a professional speaker or on YouTube or, or whatever. I personally, I come I come to the club to um, to to watch everyone that comes here, watch them speak, watch them grow as speakers, and um, gain a lot of satisfaction in, the, in in seeing the ones that come week after week and how they improve. And um, and I hope that um, that I'm the same. So um, that's what. I think makes the, the club great. Um, not necessarily that we're all the best speakers, but just that we can all grow together and, and um, one day you know, become a, a great club. Um, just on that note, um, today I think on reflection, I hope that on reflection, I think um, we may look back on this day as being one of kind of historical importance. Today, if everything goes to plan in the next two weeks, today will be the last meeting of our monthly Toastmasters in their unofficial capacity. We, um, for those of you who know, um, have been following the, the activities of the club over the last uh, 18 months, we've been trying to um, get enough members to, to become official and we've now got 20 members, which is the requisite. So uh, I think um, if you haven't already joined up, please um, please think about seriously doing so because we're about to enter a great um, period of time for our club and we're going to sort of get even greater. So um, so I thank you all. And, um, it's um, my call to meet you too. And call no, 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 no. Okay. Well, just, yeah. Yeah. Uh, no? Okay. No. Okay. Okay. I call to meet you too. Ah, yeah, they, we had the winners of the awards. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> so the best, um, the best speaker was Talgat. Um, <laughs> and the best evaluator, Begzod. <laughs> and the best panel topic speaker, Terry. <laughs> Sorry? So I don't know. Okay, so, and also, um, because one's just a reminder that we need to have volunteers to um, sign up for the next meeting, so <laughs> I, um, please, um, anyone want to volunteer for a speaker or an evaluator or a... We need one more speaker. Oh, we already have a really good one. Okay, one more speaker. Going, okay. going, so. <laughs> cool. Thank you. Aham. Aham. Okay. So I'd like to announce that the meeting is closed for the day.